All right, guys, this is how to make your uh, stock 212 Predator um, custom, look look a little more cool, a little more custom out. Um, now, I made this header pipe. Um, I used the uh, the uh, bottom piece from an old uh, Predator 212 muffler and just added me this little piece of straight pipe. Um, and uh, we took off the fuel tank, the grab tank, and replaced it with a... Uh, aftermarket fuel cell down here um, we got a pulse pump right there now this tank I think it was like twelve dollars on Amazon uh, that pulse pump was like nine dollars um, now these filters right here I got that right there from a uh, uh, AutoZone for like five bucks um, fuel lines real cheap uh, but these predators look 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 pretty cool um, if you can uh, do away with some of the stuff you really don't need like these these uh, hemi predators actually got this cool looking filter here guy um you don't need that cover on there and you don't need that piece of styrofoam that goes on there if you notice you put a cold air intake pipe on this thing you know all you got is that thing right there there's that that thing on there doesn't doesn't do nothing you know what i mean matter of fact probably restricts air more than allows it to come in um not only you'll get better airflow, it it'll make it look a little more, a little more custom built. Um, like I said, twenty five bucks in this motor, guys. This is actually my donut motor. I had to take off my uh, other Predator Hemi. Um, got that. Uh, what's that? That that piston arm, that little thing right there. Where is it at? Oh, right there. You can tell where it busted off. We just had to replace that. You know, our other Predator Hemi here. Um, and while we was in there, we went ahead and removed the governor and plugged it up. Um, my problem is, guys, um, I thought I was leaking from my gasket right here, my crank, my crank case. Um, but where I'm leaking from is my uh, my governor blowhole here. Um, me, apparently, I like doing things the hard way. So, oh, I'll just put a bolt in there and put a lock washer on there. it be good to go. And not listening to guys saying you need to tap this and put another bolt in there. And maybe get some Loctite on there. I just stuffed it in there like all oh, my way will work. But apparently it did not work. So we got to take this cover back off. Remove that bolt. Tap that. And Loctite is another bolt in there. And this, this motor is good to go. But like I said, she's already back running. Back running good. She's just spewing oil. Can't have that. Um, this is our donut motor here. But for the time being, we want it to look cool. I got my stage kit coming in the mail, but it's going on the other motor. I'm not even going to put it on this motor. This is my donut motor. Um, I use this one in case my good motor breaks down. Uh, we're not going to do nothing special to this. We're just going to keep it the way it is. And even the way it is, it still looks pretty cool. Super cheap. Um, just remove your governor, remove that tank, get you a $10 fuel cell, get you a $10 pulse pump, expose that filter, put your header pipe on there and you can make a header pipe guys like like i said i made that of a chunk of steel and trust me you want to start by making these smaller pipes uh, you make these big pipes you're gonna have problems because especially if you're a new to welding and your weld doesn't hold that pipe's gonna break off all the time um i've actually broke a few uh factory pipes <laughs> on these little uh, go-karts um broke their welds as well but super simple super easy little hundred dollar Chicago welder right there, Harbor Freight, you know. Uh, but all kind of ways to dress up your cart, guys, without sp spending a shit ton of cash. This thing looks pretty cool just the way it sits. And it's pretty much stage one, guys. You know what I mean? just doesn't look like your typical stage one. But still looks cool.